Today's topic is hydrograph. Let us understand what is a hydrograph. Hydrograph is made from two words hydro plus graph. Hydro means water. Hyd hydrograph is plot of discharge against time. How do we make a graph? We need two objects to find relation between them while making a graph. Here the two objects between which we have to tell the relation to create a hydrograph are discharge and time. What we do? We place discharge or we can say rate of flow on y axis and time on x axis and plot the discharge at different time. Suppose at time 2 hours from starting, discharge is 500 meter cube per second. At, a, at time 4 hours, it is 1000 meter cube per second. At 8 hours, it is 1500 meter cube per second. At 10 hours, it is 900 meter cube per second. And at 14 hours, it is again 500 meter cube per second. We plot this part on the graph and this graph is called hydrograph. Now look at the second definition. What it is saying? A hydrograph is a graph showing the rate of flow or discharge versus time past a specific point in a river canal or conduct carrying flow. It means this graph shows how much amount of water is flowing at a place at different times. Suppose this is a river in this area and we want to know the discharge or amount of water which flow at the, the mouth of the river at different time through this area after starting of rainfall we can use hydrograph for that we typically express discharge or we can say rate of flow in cubic meter per second or cubic feet per second and time in hours let us understand what is catchment, watershed or drainage area or basin area that we will see how our hydrograph look like. An area of land that drains all streams and rainfall to a common outlet such as outflow of reservoir, a single stream, river, lake or even oceans. It means a catchment is the area from which all the water from the stream and rainfall goes to a common outlet. Look at the image shown. The area surrounded by the dotted line is a catchment or we can say watershed or drainage area. You can see all the water streams in this area are drainage their water to a common outlet at mouth of sea. Suppose this is a catchment area and rainfall for duration D occurred over this area. What will happen? Initially, there will be loss due to process like infiltration, interception, etc. And the water will take time reach the outlet. There will be lag time between start of rain and run off or discharge to occur. So initially, the discharge will not increase. After some time, when soil will be saturated, after this loss, the water will collect it over the land and will reach the streams and the streams will discharge water at the outlet or at the mouth of river. Thus, the discharge at outlet will begin to increase and after 
some time will attain a maximum amount of discharge and then it will begin to decrease and will decrease further after rainfall will stop and will again reach the point of initial ground water flow so our graph will be something like this you can see a clear picture of the graph this part of a graph a to b in which run off or discharge is increasing is known as rising limb and this is the crest segment from b to c in which peak flow occurs highest amount of flow occurs this is falling limb or limb from c to d in which the flow rate decrease this section from a to d is called base flow means ground water flow which was initially there and the upper portion which uh, surface run off occurred is called direct run off this is the rainfall data shown which tells the duration d and rainfall depth we will learn in detail about component of hydrograph in next video lecture so please like and subscribe our channel for more updates thank you